Alrighty, so in the last lesson, students figured out their, um, what did they figure out? They figured out their design, okay? Um, but what I get them to do here is just think, right, well, if they've got all these things, what do they have, what's left? What do they still need to do? And just get them to think about that. Um, and maybe give them a minute in their group to talk about, okay, well, what do we still need to figure out? And hopefully they come up with these things. I need my sample, who we're going to um, conduct our experiment on. They need the materials, and they're going to do a pilot study. All right. So this is what they were looking at, how they're going to get their sample. That's uh, the focus for today. And maybe just a, a quick think pair share recap. Uh, we went over sampling methods in chapter six. So if you did the quantitative methods before now, um, if you haven't, then obviously just skip this one. Um, <clears throat> now this was uh, done, this activity was included in the quantitative methods. So you can redo it if you like, or you can skip it. I think I'll probably skip it um, in my own lessons, to be honest, but I just included it here uh, as an idea. And if you haven't done chapter six, then this could be a good one. Um, to do. There's a link there in the blog post that they can use for that. Basically it's just a very short summary of how they got their participants and then they figure out and write down what, um, or they can just think and share what sampling method they used. Alright, and then and again it's up to them. Um, I think the, one of the things with the, this unit that I really like with the IA is I'm, um, I do much less talking, I step back and it's really about um, the, f the first part of the lesson, a little bit of front loading, and then going right, it's up to you guys, do the work, do the talking, um, get it done. Uh, there's some yep, extra help in the textbook if they need it. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, and then, yep, so they should be able to uh, figure out their sampling and explain why they chose this method. Um, and again, here are some tips uh, for doing it. I think the most it's probably going to be practicality. All right. Now, I've accepted uh, in the past, I've accepted my students to use um, purposive sampling because we're because the conditions were right. I mean, we're a really small school that, and they wanted over 16 years old. So there's only about 20 people they can choose from. And so they really have to, and, and because those that don't do IB and um, blah, blah, blah. So there was actually a very unique set of circumstances where um, they actually had to go directly and ask, hey, can you participate in my study? And, and I thought that was fine. Now, whether or not the moderators would think that's fine, because the post of sampling is really not a you know, representational sampling, not usually used in quantitative methods. I mean, that's a bit of a gamble, and I mean, no one knows for sure, because it would depend on your moderator. So I think as much as possible, I would encourage students to use opportunity sampling or self-selected sampling. Random sampling they always want to use, but they figure out that they're not doing it properly, or uh, it's practically too difficult. So I would... I would be steering them towards opportunity sampling or self-selected sampling. And always in my classes, what I do is, um, before the experiment, I send out an email to all the other teachers and say, hey, does anyone have a class available at X times? And we do an opportunity sample that way. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the, the, the key is that they state their sampling method, how they obtain that sample, they have to describe it, and then they explain why they use that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, if students do that and they're getting ahead, then what we're looking at next is how to design the materials and these are the some of the materials they're going to need so they can start um, delegating work and creating these and making plans for these. All right. Um, so again, just some, some more reflection how they're doing. And that's the planning topic done. So they should know what they're going to do now. And then the next topic preparing is just looking at um, the creating, creating the materials and practicing the, the pilot study before they do the real thing.